So today we got some new Milwaukee Nitrous Torch Recip Saw Blades. We're gonna slice, we're gonna dice, we're gonna use and abuse. We are definitely going to put these things through the test. The question is, how will they hold up? Will they live up to the hype? Well, here are some of the things we're going to cut. We got some rebar, we got some threaded bar here, we got some steel bar right here, some big old steel pipe right here. It's about a quarter inch thick, by the way. Then we got some big old chunky nasty steel right here. And take a guess what we're going to do to it. Yep, we're going to slice and dice. So what do you guys think about that? Awesome. And for the test today, we will be using the almighty M18 Fuel Milwaukee Super Sawzall. And we'll also be doing it in the pouring down rain because Ohio weather stinks. But don't worry, it's completely safe. <laughs> I'm going to go change real quick. So just throwing that out here real quick, you got a couple different sizes you can go with the 6, 9, or 12 inch. Today we're going to be using the 6 and the 9 inch, not the 12, but look how pretty this is. You know, I know this is a recip saw blade, but I really kind of like the design. You know, whatever, it looks nice. Don't judge me! But this is definitely a thicker blade, definitely one of the thickest blades that I've ever used. One other good thing about this, made in the good old US of A. Way to go, Milwaukee. Now, one type of metal that these are really supposed to shine on is the cast iron, but I'm not cutting up my pan for this video. So you can also do stainless steel, which I'll show you, really thick steel, which I can show you. You can also use these on black bar, rebar, all this stuff. These things are just supposed to cut through anything. So I figured we would start the test by cutting through some rebar. Now, I'm going to forewarn you, you're going to see some metal bouncing around over here in this video. I'll explain to you why later in the video, exactly how this happened. Here we go. Now don't worry my friends, I will turn up the sound here in the next few clips. You can see it doing the slicing and the dicing down through the rebar really quick. You can see those little burrs flying out over there. Let's keep on going here. Super, super smooth. And this is just a straight cut. Obviously there's no oscillation to this. But if you're planning on cutting rebar, do not worry about it because it will definitely go through. Now you can see I'm struggling a little bit cutting this. I slowed it down. My clamp is jiggling off. You're asking yourself, why did you not just put this on your sawhorse and clamp it down instead of using your picnic table? Well, this is what happened earlier before this video was shot. Yo, bro, uh, I need to borrow your sawhorses. Uh, five minutes, bro. That's all I need them. Yeah, I'd love to help out my neighbor, just don't keep him too long because I'm shooting this video and need him. I mean, yeah, that sounds legit, bro. Just five minutes. I promise I'll get him right back to you, bro. All right. Thanks, bro. You're the man, bro. <sighs> he said he was going to bring them back. Where are they? Where are my saw? 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 Or my saw horses. Ugh, I hate my neighbors. And that was a true story there. All right, let's try some stainless steel threaded bar. See what it does. And then after for our next cuts, we'll turn the volume up. Here we go. Ooh, look at it just slicing and dicing. Now I'm going to let you know, I'm really not putting any pressure down on this saw. I'm basically doing it one-handed and it's cutting right on through. Real nice like and a different angle for your viewing pleasure. That was oh so smooth, but let's move it over to some metal bar here. And this is a little over an eighth of an inch thick. And we're gonna see what it does as we slice and dice down through. Once that blade starts biting in, it just goes for it, man. And look at that. Again, one-handed. You can see I'm holding the back of that bar so it doesn't come flying off and smack me in my face. But it just goes. It makes some really smooth cuts. But let's go ahead now and turn up that volume for you so you can hear it yourself. Oh, a different angle, you say? All right. Is 
It's a beast. All right, let's move it over to, it's about four and a half, five inches round, and it's quarter of an inch thick pipe. Let's see what it does. It's going to be a real pain in the butt to hold on to this thing, but we're going to move it up to the nine inch blade. Let's just slice and dice. So obviously a picnic table is not my preferred method of cutting metal on. So ran into some issue there, but no issue going through the steel. Just my shoe got in the way of the picnic table. Let's move it up to that nasty, nasty metal. You're looking about a quarter of an inch thick of steel. And then we're going to go with the base, which is a half inch worth of steel. Here we go. Baby, we're just a slicing and a dicing, using and a beauty. Oh man, my neighbors! Oh, they just drive me crazy. Going back to the one hand. Okay, let's move it over to a different angle and then we'll set this thing up and cut it that way. And then we're gonna go for the base and we're gonna go through that half inch steel. See how it does? Here we go. would have been so much easier to use two hands, but unfortunately I can't. That said, it's still slicing and it's dicing. Okay, we're gonna put two hands, nope. So the only thing that was working was the weight of the saw. Again, I was not able to put any force down on it. Let's try to clamp this down and add a little bit of force. This thing came off of an old guardrail system. All right, so let's go for that base now. You're looking at a half an inch worth of steel here. here you go. All right, let's just cut down straight through the base itself. These 
blades are super, super quick. Just adding a little bit of pressure, not much, but it is just slicing and dicing. All right, let's bring it at a different angle here for you. And a different angle. Super deep cut, super fast, super freaking awesome, but how did that blade hold up? Now on the blade front, you can see that that tooth is a little bit chipped right there. On the back, that is not the case, but I will tell you this as well. I edited a lot of these clips because I did not have my saw horses due to my neighbor not bringing them back. I had to edit the clips because I didn't want to look a fool. But here's the thing, I cut through a lot more metal and what you've seen on this video. These blades are freaking awesome. So much so that I'm giving it the golf clap. And I don't do this for every video. Good job. Now I'm gonna leave a link in the description below for you to check these blades out if you want to. But I wanna know what you think. Have you used these? Are you planning on using these? What did you like about them? What didn't you like about them? I just think that they did a great job on these blades. They're a little bit thicker. Here's my only issue with the blades. Because they're a little bit thicker, they're sort of a pain to get into the saw and sometimes to get out of the saw, you know, they're snug. But other than that, just a really, really good saw blade. Leave me a comment in the comment section, let me know what you think. If you like tools, don't forget, hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on anything. I always appreciate you stopping by and we'll be back with more videos soon.